your drum camps uh, are also part of your business model too. People come from around the world to your drum camps. They're in Germany, correct? Right. So we have uh, the camps in Germany that always focus on a certain subject mainly. And then we have camps around the world that are the all-round camps. So I do one in New York every year uh, around March, um, uh, upstate New York, beautiful. Yeah. And um, and I will do one in Italy this year, maybe Tokyo next year. So, so there are sometimes camps like around the world. I don't do very many of them, um, but uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to them always when when they happen and and uh, the 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 main uh, like the headquarter is there in germany yeah. where i found a beautiful location with beautiful bavarian food wow. and uh, <laughs> great awesome excellent so gi give me a glimpse of sort of the day in the life or the week in a life if i'm coming to germany to uh, one of your drum camps what happens uh first of all it it's long days, okay. so yeah, it's like eight o'clock or like uh, something like that. Like waking up, uh, having having breakfast together there, and then at nine we start, and it basically stops at maybe midnight or like yeah. like. Uh, so so um, in in Germany, as I said, it's it's um, they they're called sound hands and feet mm -hmm. effective practicing. I have a camp on effective practicing, and every one of those. Um, uh, has has a certain focus. So for the sound camp, I wanted to to make a drum camp that you know is just a little more realistic and a little more uh, going deep than your usual um, camp experience. So what I did was um, at the sound camp, for example, I bring like more than twenty drums, mm -hmm. and everyone has to have a drum with new heads. And I sent them away, and they should tune them and come back. And then we listened to it, and we commented, and and uh, so we talk about tuning, and we talk about mics. I have my favorite sound engineer there. We record everyone. Wow. We compare mics, and we we move them and see what it changes, and and um, we talk about techniques. So, so everything that has to do with sound, really in depth, like from from A to Z. Yeah. Um, we have something like that with effective practicing, where where we 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 really make sure that first of all we assess where everyone is so everyone has um, an analyzing tool to find out then what are the strengths what are the weaknesses because it blows my mind that usually tips are being given without a diagnose before it's like going to the doctor right. and he's like ah right. take that and right. you're like Ooh, okay right. <laughs> so, and you don't know what's wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. it's actually getting worse. Right. You know? So, um, so we do a proper diagnosis in the, in the beginning, and then we have we discuss about all the tools, and then the goal is that everyone leaves uh, the camp with a customized mm. uh, practice plan that a hundred percent will work. And and um, so, yeah, and a couple of other camps, but we have the time and groove camp where Frank did on bass comes, everyone plays with him, which is basically what the, uh, the art and science of groove DVD kind of came out of. Like these are the tools. Uh, but it's again, it's, it's then even more in depth when, when it's face to face and, and when we're really talking about it, listening to it and, and working with it. So I love these camps. It's um, last time we had 25 people from, 14 different countries it's so amazing. it's amazing it's, i mean that alone is just a beautiful thing sure. to, to have sure right uh, the, to have that going on yeah the power of music i think the power of your music so it sounds great incredibly immersive and all skill levels benny from beginner to yeah. pro yeah i mean someone who who sits on their desk and is like hmm, i'm a guitarist but i I would like to, to try out drums. That's maybe not it. So so you have if you can you have to play be able to play a little bit. But I I usually have the experience that people are are much more careful than so so I try to encourage them because I had I had very young kids there sometimes and or sometimes guys who were in their sixties and and you know and think like oh I can't go to that Benny Graham guy he will. Like uh, slaughter me, and right. and they all had a great time, and and uh, so, yeah, I would say all skill levels, yeah, definitely. <laughs>